If you take a look at most user interface screens, you will notice that all of them look similar in terms of how their colors are applied. For example, these are payment plan screens from two different apps. However, majority of these screens have white or light gray colors. And only a few elements are colored differently to catch our attention. The concept of applying these colors in this way is called the 60-30-10 rule. Let's learn how to apply it in your UI screens. First, you need to look at your color palette and determine these three colors that is neutral, secondary and primary. In most cases, whites and shades of grey form your neutral colors. Your primary brand color will be your primary colors and any other supporting colors will form your secondary colors. Do note that for dark mode, this rule remains the same. However, your shades of grey, that is your neutral colors will be darker. If you want to learn how to pick colors and create your own color palette, I have made a tutorial on this which you can check out in the description. Now let's start applying these colors to a wireframe. Here is an example of a to-do list wireframe and this is the color palette we will be applying. So the first step will be to apply your neutral colors which would form 60% of the interface. These colors are mostly applied to backgrounds, surfaces and text. So in our example, we will apply the various shades of grey to the background of the page, to the surface of each to-do and to the text. And just like that, 60% of our UI has been colored. Next, we can apply our secondary colors to elements that differentiate certain sections on the page. This can include headings, secondary buttons, badges, line breakers and so on. Basically elements that need to grab the user's attention a little more. These colors would take up approximately 30% of the interface. So in our example, we have applied these secondary colors to the to-do category headings and to the box of the present date in the calendar row. This clearly shows the user which date is selected by simply applying color. Now, what most beginners do is that they try to apply as many colors as possible to make the UI look good. However, this can be counterintuitive as nothing really stands out and there is no focus for the user on this page. Instead, what you need to do is determine the primary purpose or the primary action a user needs to take on a particular screen. You typically want to write this down before you start wireframing or you can refer to your research or any other documentation you might have created in this project. So in our example, the primary purpose for a user on this screen is to create to-dos and manage them. Therefore, we will apply our primary color to the add button which is the main call to action on this page. This makes the button stand out and encourages the user to create a to-do which is the primary purpose of this page. And just like that, we have applied our color palette to this UI screen by using the 60-30-10 rule. Keep in mind that this rule is not rigid and can be tweaked depending on different use cases. Here are a few examples of good UI designs that have used more of their primary color and less shades of grey. However, the ratio of 60, 30, 10 is still applied here to a certain extent. If you found this video useful and want to see more, then click subscribe and check out my other videos on UX UI design. Thanks for watching.